सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा फस्ट श्लोक रिपीट आफ्टर मी शृंगक्ष्मृन्नीवासुख मुनि सेव्यमाघ्रि पद्मे स्वांगछाया विधूता मृतकसुरराडवाहने वाक्सवित्री शंभुश्रीनाथ मुख्यामरवरिकोदत पूज्यम विद्या शुद्ध बुद्धि कमलजदयिते सत्वर देहि मह्यम ओ मदर गॉडेस कमलज दयिता हे कमलज दयिते इज एड्रेसिंग द मदर गॉडेस प्लीज गिव मी प्योर माइंड हियर बुद्धि मीन्स वी कैन टेक प्योर माइंड एंड प्योर नॉलेज आई नो अबाउट युअर ग्लोरीज that you are excelling in devas also your glories are unlimited worshiped by all the devas including lord shiva and vishnu lord shiva and vishnu also oh mother please bless me give me the knowledge the pure mind is kal chitta shuddhi one more benefit we can derive from these prayers is chitta shuddhi pure mind we get the more we chant the stotrams parayanams every day it purifies our mind how when i am chanting when i am remembering the lord through his glories naturally my mind will be away from the arishad vargas suppose to be sometimes some people chant even vishnu sahasranama with a lot of anger that will not help us so when we are chanting the bhagwan's name or some recitations when we are doing we have to do in a calm and quiet mind so we have to come out of the kama krodha lobha moha mada matsarya which are the impurities of the mind so to make our mind pure this prayers are very very helpful because they are the obstacles you know kama krodha lobha moha the delusion the too much craving a desire for everything and um, anger they are the biggest obstacles for a person in spiritual journey knowing this our acharyas even our scriptures taking care of that human weaknesses how to dispel them there is a technique there is a method given for us so the every day parayanam chanting is compulsory so that my mind will slowly subsides you know from these uh, negative tendencies 
slowly it will withdraw from the negative tendencies. Because they are all that negative tendencies like anger, hatred, jealousy, they are at subconscious level, unknowingly they come to surface and obstruct our sadhana. Therefore, prayers are very important. We should not think, I am a high Vedantic student, I am studying from so many years because I know all these Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, by heart, everything. So, therefore, I have come to Nirguna Brahma Jnanam. Therefore, not necessary at all these stotrams. Hmm? We should not be like that and that much complacentness, you know, it's not good. So, better to have some stotrams, parayanams, everyday prayers. It's not a, you know, elaborately, but at least minimum we have to keep. So, therefore, it is a safe sign. Therefore, prarthanas are very, very useful. So, this type of ashtakams help us to remind ourselves where we are. And uh, shuddham vidyam. So, buddhi means a pure mind, you please give me, O oh Mother. This shamadamadi shatka sampatti ityartha. The mind, which is a controlled mind, and the senses are also controlled. That mind is very pure mind, please give me. And here is Shuddham Vidya means, so we can take it as Para Vidya or Akshara Vidya or Brahma Vidya is the Shuddham Vidya. The pure knowledge means Brahma Vidya. The Para Vidya is the ultimate Vidya that is the culmination of human life. So, I feel complete. My life is purposeful. I am free from dissatisfaction. That freedom from atrupti, dukkham, freedom from dukkha, freedom from atrupti, atrupti karatvam, and freedom from bondage. All these three limitations will go away from me. Through what? Through Paravidya. Oh Mother, give me such Vidya because I do not know what is the supreme knowledge in this universe. Because I am a, an ignorant person with full of lot of problems. Therefore, please help me. Therefore, Ishwara's grace is required. Ishwara Anugraha, Guru Anugraha and Shastra Anugraha is required. So, we are seeking the Ishwara Anugraha to get Shastra Anugraha and Guru Anugraha. So, through Ishwara we have to go. Clear? Because people neglect Ishwara after getting Guru. Some people neglect Guru taking Ishwara. Some people, Ishwara is their Guru, is their neglecting the Shastra. Some people hold on to Shastra and they will ignore Ishwara and Guru. So, our parampara, traditional acharyas, always reminding all sadhakas, in these three, you know, we have to develop devotion. If any one thing is lacking, we cannot attain our goal. Therefore, Shuddham Vidya means para vidya. Mother, you please give me, I do not know how to gain it. So, Ishwara Anugraha is required to get Paravidya. So, Ishwara will show that Guru, Guru will show the Shastra. Like that, you would have to go. This is the shloka we have already completed. Now, we come to the second shloka we will read. Kalyadu Parvati Pravar Suragana Prathita Shrauta Vartma Kalyato Parvatisha Pravar Suragana Prathita Shrauta Vartma Prabalyam Netu Kamo Yeti Varava Pushagatyayam Shringa Shaili Prabalyam 
संस्थाप्याजा प्रचक्रे बहुविधनुति सात्विंदवर्धचूड़ा नाउ द आचार्य और द भक्त द डिवोटी is uh, going to giving the description of uh, that shankara acharya how he has come and established this peetham here in this shloka we are going to see that one of the acharyas of this shringeri mat he is um, expressing his um, feelings how the great Shankaracharya, Adi Shankaracharya has come to this universe and how he has established this Shringeri Mat, that for what he has come. So in this verse, he is going to enumerate that. Beautiful. Now you see, Kalyadau Parvatishaha Pravara Suraganaha Pravara Suraganaihi Prarthitaha Kalyadau. Kalyadau means Kali Yuga. Adau. At the beginning of that Kali Yuga. Beginning means not exactly beginning. So Kalyadau. At the time of the Kali Yuga. What happened? Pravara Suraganaihi Prarthitaha. Pravara Suragana Prarthitaha. Parvatishaha. Parvatishaha means Lord Shiva. Parvati means Parvati. Ishaha means the Lord. The Pati of Parvati is Parvatishaha. Parvatishaha, the Lord Shiva. Suraganaihi Prarthitaha. Shuragana means uh, the group of Devas. Pravara Suragana Prarthitaha means uh, having prayed by the Devas. Requested by, prayed by, asked by. Prarthitaha means uh, prayed by, asked by. Na. Prarthanam Pandaral. Desired by those great devas, Indra, Varuna, Vayu, Agni, all other rishis, great celestials, they all came and asked, it seems, Lord Shiva. Hey, Shiva, Lord Shiva, please, we have a desire in our hearts. What is that? You please come and take an avatara. All of them went and asked Lord Shiva, it seems. What they asked, what, for what they asked? They asked him for the sake of Shrauta Vartma Prabalyam Netu Kamaha. Asked by all those devatas to make, to propagate that Prabalyam, Shrauta Vartma Prabalyam. Shrauta Vartma means Vaidika Marga. Vairika Marga Shrutam Cha Idam Shrautam means Vairikam Shrautam Cha Tat Vartma Vartma means Marga Vairika Marga Shrauta Vartma Prabalyam Prabalyam means to propagate to re establish to make popular 
Netu Kamaha, desirous of, desirous of to taking that scriptural teaching, Vedic tradition, Vaidika Marga, into the minds of the all people. Netu Kamaha, Kamaha means desire, Netu means to take to, leading also. Netu Kamaha, desirous of propagating. These scriptures, Vaidika Marga, what form he came, Yeti Varra Vapusha Agatya. Yeti means a sannyasi. Yeti Varra means the one who is um, great among sannyasi. Supreme Varra means great. Yeti Varra. Vapusha with the body of a sannyasi, taking the form of a sannyasi, Lord Shiva, he left his Trishulam and all, taking Danda in his hand and Kamandalam. Yeti Vara, Vapusha means body. Vapuhu, Vapushi, Vapumshi, Yeti Varasya, Vapuhu, Yeti Vara, Vapuhu. Tena, Yeti Vara Vapusha, Yeti Vara Vapusha, Agatya, He came to the earth, taking to the body of that Sanyasi, in a Sanyasi form. That means in Adi Shankara form, He has come onto this earth, Agatya, having come, Gamadhatu is actually to go. When you join with the prefix a, it is entirely opposite meaning. Agatya. Gam means to go. Agatya means to come. So, like this in grammar, Sanskrit grammar, when you join the prefixes, they give entirely opposite meaning. So, Agatya having come. Agatya means that Lebantam. Agatya, having come, not incom not completed the sentiment. Vandi, ah, apra, enna, enna madri vare, akanksha will come. That is called Levandam. Agatya, having come. Yam Shringa Shaile, that uh, Shringa Shaile Agatya you have to take. Yeti Nam Varaha, Yeti Varaha, that Vapusha Agatya Shringa Shaile. On this uh, Shringagiri, that Yam you have to join with the third line. Yam samsthapya archam prachakre. Having come, what he did? So, the devatas asked him, requested him, the Lord Shiva, please come to protect this Vaidika Dharma, all these Vedas. That means, uh, um, those days the Buddhism, Jainism, all other uh, karma kandins are that very much um, prevailing those days. And uh, totally this Advaita uh, knowledge, knowledge was totally coming down. Jnana Marga, Sanyasi life, Ashrama life was not accepted those days. That was the situation when Sankaracharya came to you know, taking avatar at that time. So, therefore, that's why Acharya expressed here, um, Shauta Vartma Prabalyam. So, having come to protect, to propagate this Vaidika Marga, what he did? Samsthapya, having established, having consecrated Samsthapya, Sthādhātoho samupasarga samsthāpya having established what is that archam prachakre he has established a matan to propagate this vaidika dharma archam prachakre having established that sātvam you see, again we have to connect it to Kamala Jadaita. Oh, Mother Goddess, you are that. 
who are you? You are that who consecrated by Shankaracharya, Adi Shankaracharya, who came in the form of sannyasi, prayed by all the devatas to protect the Vaidika Marga. You have been consecrated, I mean, say established here. The Shankaracharya established this math here. That means what understand every matha, Shankar math is mainly established for the purpose of propagating the Vaidika Dharma. Nothing else, only to establish the Advaita philosophy. Whatever said in Vedas, that they have to propagate in different ways. Different ways means not only teaching Vedanta, Aham Brahma, Asmi, Tattva, Asimattam. So, to protect Vaidika Dharma, there are so many methods establishing the schools and colleges and temples, renovating the temples, taking care of the priests, Veda, Parayanam, teaching you know, where the pandits they have to take care of. So now you saw yesterday morning how the children are chanting the Veda Ghosha. Hmm? That Ghosha, that sound reverberates. You know? So they have to take care of their food, their shelter, everything they have to take care of. So not only at that area, no? throughout the country, not only throughout the country, throughout the world they have to take care of. No? So these are all they have to keep in their mind and puja, that karma kanda also they have to take care of, jnana kanda also they have to take care of, upasana kanda also they have to take care of, and they have to take care of all our cultural symbols. That Veda says that you have to protect the cows, you have to protect the rivers, you have to protect the environment, all come under this Vaidika Dharma Prabalya only. So that you have to keep in their minds and they do so many things they are doing also. Therefore, Prabalyam Nirtu Kamaha, what he did, Samsthapya Archam Prachakre. And he started worshipping. Having started that Matha and he immediately has not left. He stayed there many days. And there is a story also, some people say, why he has established only on this uh, Sringagiri? Why not in other place, they say. But when Shankaracharya came here, there were no buses, no qualis, AC car and all. <laughs> he came all the way, Kanyakumari to Kashmir. He walked. Yes, uh, for them, so the Vaidika Dharma, no? propagation, sthapanam is the main thing. No? So, with so much difficulty, they have walked day and nights, day and nights. And after coming here, he saw on this Tungabhadra river banks, there was one snake is protecting the frog, pregnant frog. Shankaracharya saw that. It seems, they say, the story. Shankaracharya saw that a snake is giving a shadow with its hood. Uh, that frog is going to deliver a baby. And uh, this snake is putting in the veil, it is protecting. When he saw that, immediately he stunned. How this, both are enemies, you know, Janma Shatrus. Whenever the snake uh, see that frog, it will not live. It will immediately swallow. But uh, that time, this snake is protecting that frog, it seems. That means uh, this place has got uh, many Mahatmas, Rishis might have done tapas here. Even that Ahimsa Bhavana will go away even, even in between that um, uh, enemies. Birth rivals they are, no? Janma Shetros. In between them also there is a Sakyata, there is a friendship, helping nature, Karuna, compassion. Then he thought there is some power here, there is some Shakti here upon this Shringagiri. If I establish on such a place, you know, in Shringa, on Shringagiri, if I establish a mat, definitely it will take care of this Vaidika Marga. marga. Many people will come here all over the world and they will get the inspiration from this place. That was the Incident happened that time, it seems. 
So like that, many more examples, many places and pilgrimage centers we have in our stories. One of the story they say here, like that. So, some stop, and he did puja also. Many days they have to establish that Chakrasthapanam, Prachakre means having established that Sri Chakram. And they have to do lot of time puja and also. Then only that mantra Shakti will come. That antram, when they put, you know, they have to do so many days puja, so many avrittis they have to do, japa, and a lot of puja they have to perform, and a lot of abhishekams they have to do, a lot of shanti they have to do. Then only that place will get a you know, um, lot of power. And it gets an attractive power and pulling all of us here. You know. I thought there many dropouts will be there. Generally, when they give names to the camp, generally dropouts will be there. That's why I take extra number also, every time. This time I am in a trouble actually. No dropouts. So that's why it's very difficult for me to arrange their rooms also. So then next time onwards I have to be very careful. My students are not ordinary students. They will not drop easily. Real mumuk shoes. So that means uh, you see the power of that place, you know, the bhavana we have. You know. So that uh, Acham Prachakre, how he did puja, Bahu Vidha Nuti Bihi. Many prayers, Nuti Bihi means he has done lot of uh, stotrams, Bahu Vidha means varieties of many ways he has done. Nuti Bihi means praising. You are the mother, Kamalajya Daita, whom the Shankaracharya consecrated, having consecrated, he did puja to such you, na, or such you. Not only that, Indu Ardha Chuda, Indvardha Chuda, Satvam, such you. Na. Indu means moon, Artha means crescent moon. Who is adorned by a crescent moon on your head? That Kamalaja Daita is one on whose head the crescent moon is sitting now as a, a decoration, as an ornament. As an ornament. Oh Mother, such you, please give me Sattvaram Mahyam Dehi. You please give me soon, immediately, pure mind and pure knowledge, para vidya and chitta shuddhi. So, even though vidyam shuddham is there, you write in such a way, shuddham buddhim you write first, then only shuddham vidyam. Okay, because when you have pure mind only, that para vidya will come. Okay, that Brahma Vidya, even you sit in the class, you will listen also. If I am not having a pure mind, I cannot receive the teaching as it is, it is impossible. So, therefore, Shuddham Muddhim Munnadi Potate Adhikaparam Shuddham Vidyam So, the Para Vidya I, I want. So, for that sake, you give me pure mind. That's why Lord Krishna also said, Manushyanam Sahasreshu Kastit Yatati Siddhayen. So therefore, O oh Mother, uh, please help me with pure mind so that I can receive the teaching. The so second, third shloka we will read. Papau gham dham sahitvam Papau gham dham sahitvam Bahu jani rachitam kincha punyali marat Kya buddhim shruti guru vachane shvadaram bhakti dardhyam Sambhadya 
पापौ घंध्वं सयित्वा बहुजनिरचितं किंच पुण्यालिमारात पापौ घंध्वं सयित्वा बहुजनिरचितं किंच पुण्यालिमारात संपाद्यास्तिक्य बुद्धिं श्रुति गुरुवचने श्वादरं भक्ति दार्ढ्यं देवाचार्य द्विजातिष्वपि मनु निवहे तावकीने नितांतम् देवाचार्य द्विजातिष्वपि मनु निवहे तावकीने नितांतम् विद्याम् शुद्धाम् च बुद्धिम् कमलजदाइते सत्वरम् देहि मह्यम् पापोगम ध्वंसायित्वा। I ask you to give me that paravidya or brahma vidya. But there are some obstacles. Even if you want to give also that paravidya, brahma vidya, gnanam. Oh mother, you are desirous of giving by my request. But there are some obstacles in me because of whom this knowledge may not enter. Therefore, I am giving one more job to you. <laughs> what is that? I have done lot of papa. Either in this janma or in previous janmas maybe. Please you remove that also before giving knowledge. You have to do the cleansing process. <laughs> cleansing process means uh, here dosha apanayanam. The guna adhana means giving knowledge. Guna adhana. Just as you are applying soap, you know, to remove the dirt. Afterwards, what do you do? Applying chandan powder, cream, so many things. That is the guna adhana. First removing the impurities, then applying the purities one, which gives a fragrant smell. Like that, papa oghahana, papa nam oghaha means samuhaha, papa samuhaha, papa ogham. Not one or two, samuha means Okay, a lot of sins I might have done. Who is writing great Acharya? You imagine how much you know, humility they have got. So, accepting one's own limitations at all levels is uh, a sign of uh, humility. You know. I do not know. That is a room to grow. I have a room to grow and to mature. I mean, if you know everything, you can't tell me. If you know everything, you can't tell me. If you know everything, you can't tell me. There is a inferiority complex. If you know anything, there is a superiority complex or inferiority complex. I mean, if you know everything, there is a problem. That is an extremity. If you know everything, you can't tell me. If you know everything, you can't tell me. Uh, they look down upon themselves. This inferiority complex, uh, that means belittling oneself. That is also not good. So, how to balance this middle, no? mediocre no? way of uh, understanding? I know certain things, I do not know certain things. Every human being has got his or her own limitations. You know? So, the great Acharyas, we should not think they have done lot of papas and this is for our sake. So everyone in the previous janmas we do not know in which body we were there. We have taken in previous human janmas we have done lot of sanchita papa was there. That papa augham dhvamsaitva having destroyed. Dhvams means to destroy, to nullify, to remove. Dhamsaitva having destroyed my sins, 
when from, where from what time i have accumulated all of them bahu jani rachitam rachitam means uh, accumulated i have acquired them from law so many janmas bahu jani and means uh, from so many janmas which i have accumulated from uncountable bahu jani means uncountable births innumerable births bahu jani jani means here janma bahu jani rachitam means accumulated not only that destroying the papa but you nullify my punyalim arad <laughs> even punya also you have to take away from me punyanam alihi tam punyalim it means punya rashi <laughs> the punya rashi is a golden chain papa rashi is iron chain okay punya papa mishritam manushya janma so we are having both punyalim arat arat means soon take away my punya and destroy my papa so tatva bodha care of tatva bodha so punya is there also again you will get next birth either deva birth totally punya you get higher celestial births punya devata janma total papa means you go to tiriya you know all this pashu pakshi so punya papa mishrita means human birth so i don't want birth at all so therefore take away my punya also take away my destroy my papa also asking for that both so generally we vote for to get be destroyed this you know, papa and papa meant that is why we do lot of pujas vratams all these things to destroy our papa but what is our interest in, in punya we want to accumulate our punya once you come to shastra even you are not desirous of punya what you do first suppose you do certain punya karyams that punya comes you distribute to others you don't have any expectation of that punya if i go to temple i get punya if i do puja i get punya but ordinary people will think i want punya therefore i go i do this but a mumukshu will keep that idea thought from the mind away from the mind no i don't want to punya also therefore i should not do this puja punaskaram anna alla pannuve anana nak punya venda that is why gnani's punya goes to that bhaktas now you understand tattva bodha visa the gnani papa will go to that those people who criticize the gnani gnani is punya will go to those people who worship the gnani who respect the gnani this punya will go to those bhaktas why he don't want punya also he has rejected his punya but there is a punya already in his accounts and the punya anna pannanu bhagavan so bhagavan viewer intelligently decided yarukavadu kudukaname avarendu ee phala data so that punya bhagavan distributes to those people who serve to a gnani a mahatma a sanyasi whoever gives serve means giving food giving clothes or giving any sort of help whatever they require so what will happen their punya will come to us venda ani sonnanu vandudu appadu and punya vanda enna helu namakku so whatever obstacles are there they will go away because of this punya so beautifully adjusted here all accounts are <laughs> adjusted everywhere now so therefore punya ai marad bahujani ratchitam papa ogham dhamsaitva having destroyed apra enna pannanum innu ahale you have lot of work <laughs> to do for me astikya buddhim sampadya shruti guru vachaneshu aadaram the second line he says astikya buddhi means faith in the god faith in the scriptures shruti guru vachaneshu in the vedic statements shruti vachaneshu guru vachaneshu aadaram 
ఆస్తిక్య బుద్ధి అండ్ ఆదరం ఆస్తిక్య బుద్ధి మీన్స్ ఫెయిత్ ఐ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఐ బిలీవ్ ఐ టోటలీ సరెండర్ టు మై గురు హూ ఈస్ ది సంప్రదాయ విత్ ఎ గురు హూ ఈస్ ఎ సంప్రదాయ విత్ శ్రోత్రియ బ్రహ్మనిష్ఠ గురువచనేషు వాట్ వచనం నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఆర్డినరీ ప్రవచనం మై గురు వచనం సార్ శృతి వచనేష్ దోస్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద గురు దే ఆర్ ఆల్ నాట్ ఆర్డినరీ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్ మహావాక్యంస్ దేర్ ఫోర్ శృతి వచనేషు అండ్ మై గురూస్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ద శృతి స్టేట్మెంట్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ గురు రిప్రజెంట్స్ శాస్త్రం guru represents shastram therefore we can have many gurus in our life mantra guru family guru family doctor madri <laughs> family gurus they guide those family members ipudu pannu adi pannu inda puja pannu anda puja pannu they are all family gurus they give mantra diksha also they guide them but finally you have to come to a shrotriya brahmanishtha guru these gurus local small small gurus help to get that guru and so these gurus slowly help us therefore no guru we look down upon any guru because they are all required in one step when we are growing to get maturity that gurus are required mantra diksha guru is required family guru is required how to do puja when to do all these things they guide us so they all are important so we never look down upon any guru even though they are not well learned they are not scholarly persons they do not know shastra also but they follow some mupasana they follow certain type of our uh, sampradaya method and all they follow so that is also encouraged here that is the beauty of our acharyas they never um contradict other people what we say na that is the ultimate if you say we give a warning <laughs> acharya pam sampradaya gurus they give a warning you take but don't stop there so the ultimate guru is shruti and a guru that guru who gives that vedic statements teaching systematically our swami ji's words if you want to repeat again systematic consistent study of scripture vedanta scriptures under a competent alive guru and the shruti guru vachane shu na vedantic scriptures aadaram aadaram means just respect i have to adore bhakti dardhyam bhakti means devotion dardhyam dridasya bhavah dridhata dardhyam dridatvam conformness and conviction dardhyam means conviction steadiness firmness that firmness with the devotion not with carelessness negligence not as to know something what is there i want to know not that the pride and vanity i should not go towards shastra like that even an iota of thinking is there in the mind that is the impurest mind and when i am approaching a shastra and shastra mother um, is so careful no? to whom whose mind she want to enter she is very careful no? shastra mother shruti mata so therefore all great gnanis are naturally spontaneously they have humility real gnanis i am telling okay real gnanis they have got humility naturally vandunu ande the gnanam and vinayam will go together gnanam anna nishtha gnana nishtha and humility will go together so dardhyam bhaktim sampadya by making me faithful devotional towards shruti mata and guru that tvameva mata pita tvameva guru is everything and alag bhakti vandada therefore 
the goddess, if I seek all these things, she will show the Guru. Uh, you go to this Guru, go and learn. That is the blessing of Kamalaja. No? Daita, Mother Saraswati shows the Guru. So, Ishvara is the one who shows that Guru. That's why Mother is one who shows, ne, gives that, go to God and worship. Na. And the God, Ishvara, he turns the face of this person, Bhakta, towards Guru. And Guru, Saru me every day, <laughs> be with me. And Saru Pandra, Banala, he has to teach. The Guru is the one who shows the real nature of Ishwara. Ishwara is the one who shows the real nature of Ishwara. He cannot show his nature. But the way Ishwara takes the Guru's help for this person, this Guru will teach him my real nature. Papa Ishwara also taking the help of Guru. Anna in Ardha, Ishwara is Guru Rupama Vandhi and the alive teacher. Swami is putting this word newly included, this alive teacher. Why Anna people are keeping some 17th century, 16th century Gurus, inspiration Gurus, they don't help us. It's like one way traffic, Madhuri. Alive Guru is required, means that's why Bhagavan comes in the form of a Guru. That Guru will help us to see the real nature of Ishwara. So Ishwara, to know Ishwara, see the beauty. You go to Ishwara, you worship Ishwara, but Ishwara is, cannot, Ishwara is helpless unless he shows the Guru to you. <laughs> Because Ishwara's higher nature, para prakriti, you can know through the Guru only. So he turned your face to Guru and you come to Guru. What Guru says, he show your face to, turn your face towards Shastra. Because the Shastra teaching only show you the Ishwara's nature. So, world dependence to God dependence, God dependence to Guru dependence, Guru dependence to Shastra dependence, Shastra dependence to independence. Independence, one that's in Svatantraha. So, these are the clues and step by step we have to. Bhakti Dabardhyam, not only that, Devacharya Dvijatishvapi Manu nivahe tavakini nitantam. So, astikya buddhi over. Therefore, our people say, Ajan mantam trayam sevyam Guru Shastra Ishwaraha. Guru Ishwaraha Shastram. These three you have to worship throughout the life. Ethan nadan keka kuda. Life long you have to worship Ishwara. Life long you have to. Um, revered your teacher, lifelong, you have to respect the Shastra and study the Shastra. For what? Adho Gnanaptaye. In the beginning, I worship my Guru for the sake of to, uh, knowledge. For the sake of knowledge. I get to get knowledge, I worship my Guru. Afterwards, now I got this knowledge, therefore I will forget my Guru. Na. No, later, Paschat, Kritagna nivrtaye. Kritagna means that ingratitude should not come. Adi pohanu. I want to show my kritagnata. Gratitude. Kritagnata, kritagnata. Or gha, the difference. Gna, gha. The opposite meaning. Kritagnata means gratitude. Kritagnata means ingratitude. Ingratitude nivrtaye. And the ingratitude ne sirka kuda hai. Hella murcha si ippa, avar edhikin nalaka tevaya illi hai. I need not talk to him, I need not bow in front of him, because avaru nanu brahman dhani ippo. Ani sholla kuda hai. Nana vandhati kapra. So, we should not look down upon the teacher once you attain jnana also. Real jnani, the more you know, the more your respect increases towards the guru. And you admire and more and more. So, you feel you have no words to talk also. And the other key, Dhanyoham, Kritakrityoham, Purunoham, you just, in Viveka Shodam, and we were seeing, you know, in the last portion, how the student is enjoying saying, Hey Guru, you are so great, wonderful, and 
like that ado gnanaptaye paschat kritagnatva nivrttaye to come out of that ingratitudeness i have to worship my guru ishvara and shastra throughout my life so not only that i have to worship deva acharya dvijatishu api manu nivahe deva means gods all devatas i have to worship ಅದರ ದೇವತ ಅಗ್ನಿ ದೇವತ ವರುಣ ದೇವತ ವಾಯು ದೇವತ ಭದ್ರಂ ಕರ್ಣೇ ಭಿಶ್ರುಣಿಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗಾನ್ಸ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ದೇವತ ಪ್ರಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಡೈಟೀಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಅಶ್ವಿನಿ ದೇವತ ಸುಸೂರ್ಯ ದೇವತ ಶ್ರೋತ ದಿಗ್ ದೇವತ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇವತ ಆರ್ ರಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ದಿ ಹೌ ದೋಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಡೇಟೀಸ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಾಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಐ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮಠ ದಿಸ್ ಕಲ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಅದರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಗುಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮಠ ಎವ್ರಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ we need not look down upon them just we can know the limitations of their practices how they are obstacles for our um, higher pursuit and therinjikita podu apdi ni solli adik 10 peri ki solli anavashyama you should not talk also so this is another type of weakness you know, you know my guru my guru is so great he is the guru <laughs> for you how is your guru is so great for them also their guru is so great ಅನ್ನಲ್ಲ ಎಪ್ಪಮೇ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಸೈಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲುಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಎನಿ ಟೀಚರ್ ಎನಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದೇ ನೋ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅ ಟೀಚಿ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಪರ್ಶ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಅನ್ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ಲಿ and we become close to one swami or one acharya and, and learning so many things and we get lot of popularity importance also in that process we really uh, condemn other teachers that is not fair that's why the acharya asking deva acharya dvija brahmanas dvijatishu api even all of them let me have dridha bhakti on all of them also faith also then mantre teerthe dvije deve daivagne bheshajam guru idiladla shraddha irukadam anna shastra says mantre in mantra we must have faith teertha ante pilgrimage centers we should have faith mantre teerthe dvije na dvija means the uh, second born twice born brahmanas a brahmana means we should respect he is a veda swarupam anartham jati brahmana we have to respect even guna brahmana more we have to respect so dvije deve mean lord we have to worship daivagne an astrologer we have to respect an astrologer jyotish shastram is not ordinary shastram it is a part of veda daivagni bheshajam and doctor vaidya marund whatever medicine he gives and that doctor and the medicine we should have faith that's why our people say when you are taking medicine ram ram krishna krishna chulli medicine edutukano our bhagavan equal to bhagavan then guru even on guru also we must have the faith and devotion the second line is important yadrishi shraddha ar yadrishi bhavana tasya siddhir bhavati tadrishi yadrishi bhavana what type of bhavana you have got towards all this in the madri nam bhavana irukumo anda alavukku namaku benefit kuda kadikum an artham siddhir bhavati means you will get that much alone enda alavukku bhavana iruka anda alavukku da varu that is why you see uh, even shankaracharya shishya some of them uh, they used to walk on the water also hmm? padma pada anna you know see because of guru's grace they got even a dumb person is able to able to talk deaf person is able to listen 
This are all happen because of your Shraddha Bhakti. Even if I am not having high intelligence, sharp intelligence, if I have a tremendous Bhakti, devotion, you know, with so much honesty, if I surrender to my Guru, so all doubts will be cleared. You know. That is the beauty, there is a greatness of devotion. Yadrishi bhavana tasya tadrishi siddhir bhavati. Or tadrishi tasya siddhir bhavati tadrishi. So tava idam tava kine nitantam. Tava kine means tava idam means yours. Nitantam much more in full extent, in full measure. Let me manu nivahe. Manu nivahe means mananat manuhu. Manu nivaha means mananat, mananam, manunam nivaha, manu nivaha tasmin. That means reciting in your shlokas, stotrams, let my mind always dwell upon you alone. And side by side respecting brahmanas, respecting devas, respecting all acharyas, and respecting my guru, my guru statements, everything. With all this I have to praise your Glories, always let my mind remember all this and so that my papa will go away. And my punya also you please take away from me. So if I acquired all of them, to acquire to all of them I need your help, O Mother. So that, O Mother, give me Sattvaram Mahyam Dehi. Having done all this, what you have to do finally? Give pure mind. Pure knowledge. Uh, nitantam means all the time. All the time. Nitantam. Tavakini. Let me chant, glorify through hymns and stotrams. Let my mind dwell upon your glories. Nitantam means much more in full extent. Oh Mother, bless me with full knowledge. More in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om